Hello friend, welcome to another wonderful tutorial on how to love your NPCs, the series where we shower our NPCs with love, care and anxiety. Isn't that right, turd? Well, that's the plan at least, but it is getting harder and harder to give our NPCs so much love, especially since the most deserving ones have already been dealt with. So if you have any suggestions for NPC prisons, I mean resorts, then let me know down in the comments. Our first lovable NPC for today is the Tax Collector. Hello, Fillmore. The Tax Collector is an interesting guy. He helps to collect money from our other useless NPCs. And then I come and extort the said money from him. Think of it as a price to pay for saving him from the depths of hell. Go tell Dominic to stop offering to pay me with ammo. I don't even own a gun. Yeah, I can tell. Those arms look pretty weak actually. Here you are again, taking all my coin. Just grab it and be gone from my sight. You do know that I can pour lava over you, or bury you under sand anytime I want, right? Well, anyway, our dear tortured soul doesn't like the hollow, and hates everything fun and peachy. Fillmore also hates Santa Claus, and everything Christmas too. Probably because he's grumpy and salty about life, just like the Grinch. So I'll make him a peachy, colourful Christmas house. Maybe some bubblegum? On second thought, let's use candy cane. I think that's more... Christmassy? Of course, can't have Christmas without a Christmas tree. You know, I was thinking about using bubbles and bubblegum to decorate the house, but... I think I changed my mind. I realised that using candy cane blocks was a pretty bad idea, because it looks absolutely horrible. But since it's a house for an eyesore, let's just make it as horrible and repulsive as I can. Well, now that's one huge eyesore of a wall. So much so that I kind of hate myself for building it. But in the spirit of the Grinch, let's press on. Being a grumpy green menace, and no, I'm not talking about the Goblin Tinkerer, he deserves a green terra toilet, the most legendary of all the toilets. I've also moved the Christmas tree to the middle of the house too, to focus all that Christmas energy. And gifts, gifts under the Christmas tree. Add in some flamingos to harass him while he's enjoying the terra toilet. And well, a few miscellaneous paintings as a bonus. I'll also give the text collector a slice of cake to thank him for offering all the money he has extorted. And what's a house without guide Picassos? And there we go. To be very honest here, this has to be the worst house I have ever built. Ever. It's so ugly that I just want to blow it up and retry. Perfect! If I hate it that much, I'm sure Fillmore will hate it even more. Can you just imagine living in here? Finally, isolation from all these miserable peasants. Oh, tell me about it. Can't wait to be rid of you. What kind of irritating place is the hollow? Poppycock, I tell you. Yeah, it's... quite an eyesore. Tried to get Rosalva to pay me with favours once. Now I have fungus growing in strange places. Sir, do you realise that you got kinky with a 500-year-old plant lady? Well, not to worry. I'm sure some of the people watching this video would do the same. Just, um, wash your hands or something. Why hello, it's the local magic man. Greetings, old face-blind burden. How are you doing this fine day, Magius? Someone once told me that friendship is magic. That's ridiculous. You can't turn people into frogs using friendship. But you can pour lava over someone. Hint hint. Are you here for a peek at my crystal ball? No, I'm not too interested in ancient relics. Most of them are kind of spoilt and broken and useless. Magius doesn't like the ocean, so that's what I'll do. Don't you want a friend, Oten? Whoop, wrong switch, gotcha there. I did plan on building the wizard's resort next to the guide, but the guide deserves his own isolated space. Anyway, I think I'll give Magius a floating wizard tower over the sea. This way, he's kind of stuck out here with nowhere to go. 
I'll give him some echo blocks as a base, so that when he looks down, all he can think of is falling in. Other than that, I guess I'll do some classic building. The pain comes in later, I guess. I've included some flights of stairs, just so his old and frail body will have to put in more effort to get away from the water. Waterfall walls to remind him that water will engulf him whenever he falls. I'm nice, so I gave him a cauldron so he can still make his magic potions and spells. Hopefully he can make one that restores his crystal ball. Honestly, this is a pretty nice simple house. Not too much anxiety here, but I guess I just felt like making something decent. After that train wreck for the tax collector, I guess. So Magius, like your new home? I make a rather enchanting hot chocolate if you'd be interested. No? Okay. Reminds me of the old days, practicing magic up in the tower in the middle of nowhere. I dislike that ocean. Magic does not flow well in a place like this. Well, that's good I guess. Do you want some magic candy? No? See kids, if a strange old man is claiming to offer you magic candy, please don't accept it. Call for help immediately. And we have Mr. Chippy today! Hello Henry, would you like some fish and chips? Life's like a box of clothes, you never know what you're gonna wear. Except that we always wear the same clothes, all the time. Twere I younger, I would ask Lisa out. I used to be quite the lady killer. You mean, quite literally? You know, with that whole Skeletron gimmick and all. Henry here likes the text collector for some reason but also shares his hate of the hollow. I guess old people are just the same, huh? Anyway, the clothier has some trauma being cursed and being stuck at the dungeon, so it obviously follows that we have to put him back in there. I'll use some bone walls as a reminder of his horrible curse. This way, he won't ever forget that he's a monster. As you can see, I've donned his lousy retirement home with many wonderful skull-like fixtures. Nice, huh? And what's a Brit without tea? Here's some high-class Yorkshire tea for you. British YouTubers seem to love this stuff. Can't forget that secret embarrassing picture of you at that Christmas party last year. And of course, your own bones. Here's a nice little selfie of you, and some pictures of your dear NPC friends. Unfortunately, where you end up, there won't be any more fish and chips anymore, so here's some fishes to remind you of food that you can't ever have. Good evening, Sir Henry of the Chippy's Couch. How are you doing this fine, bleak day? Being cursed was lonely, so I once made a friend out of leather. I named him Wilson. Well, glad to hear you escaped that stranded island. You want some fish and chips? Well, you can't have any. Go drown your sorrows in some biscuits and tea. Yorkshire tea. Hello there, it's everyone's favourite steampunk lady. Hello, Fidelia. I like your gear. Does it come in brass? Hmm. Would you like to check and find out? I've got a great idea for the steampunker today. First of all, she doesn't like the jungle. So step one, put her in the jungle. Next, she loves machines and moving parts. So I'll build her a nice house out of cogs. Probably her favourite block. You might be wondering, hey, why are you building a house using the block that she likes? Well, here's the catch. I'm going to make a wonderful house she loves, but with every amenity just out of reach. Have you ever seen an NPC jump? Of their own accord, I mean, and not when they are falling off a cliff. Well, I haven't. Maybe I'm just dumb and this plan will fail, but it's worth a shot. So what I'm going to do is place like a bed or something up here, then have a flight of stairs going up, but just shy of reaching there. The same for the other side too. The steampunker will then fall down over here, into this happy little teleporter. And if my small brain is right, then wiring them both to the teleporter should allow both to individually connect there. I hope you can kind of see where I'm coming from now. As she reaches for this room, she will fall and restart her entire progress. Always resetting, never ever able to reach the comfort of her bed. 
So let's get to work. A nice warm bed, and a lamp on this side, and a chandelier, why not? That will look attractive enough to go for. A nice rest area on this other side, perfect for taking a break. And a nice toilet up here, with a dresser, why not? There we go, the torture chamber is now complete. Actually, why not add some spikes, so she's forced to stand on them if she doesn't move. I've also added a dart trap, which will shoot her down if she tries to enjoy the view from the teleporter. And you can't forget the paintings. A scream to remind her of her everlasting unhappiness, and guide Picassos over the teleporters. More of to act like, you know, a papega face, you know? Like, haha, you tried. How's your new home, Fidelia? The dart trap doesn't seem to be doing its thing though, even though the slow painful poison is pretty pleasant as well. I've decided to use conveyor belts to remedy this issue. To beat the machine lady, you need to use machines. One problem though, I think I have to rewire this, or else it'll just keep changing directions. There we go, it's working like a charm! She's now stuck in that everlasting loop of trying to get to her bed. Success! Enjoying the journey, Fidelia? Oh, going for the sofa now? Ah, that's a pity. Well, at least you tried. But why stop there? I realise that she stops once in a while, so let's make the floor conveyor belt so she never ever stops moving. One small problem though, if she's walking the other way, she seems to get stuck on the edge there. It seems like Fidelia is trying really hard to resist. But resistance is futile, Fidelia. And there we go! That took some engineering, which I am pretty bad at, but I finally got it to work. I've also added in a dart trap to make sure that she can't stay up there anymore, since now one shot is enough to push her down with conveyor belts. Just look at it, a mighty fine creation, if I do say so myself. It doesn't matter which way she walks now, it will always move and she won't get stuck. Hooray! Well, this is pretty relaxing and therapeutic to watch, just like this video. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon too, for more Terraria videos and other stuff. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram too, and check out the Zuzucorn merchandise. This has been Zuzu Corin. Have a nice day, and have a great week ahead. Bye bye!